What's going on everybody? My name is Renegade, or you guys can call me Ryan. And today I have a brand new workaround for the arcade solo duplication glitch. Now the founders are indeed in the description, so go ahead and check them out. But yeah, this is the workaround for the solo arcade duplication glitch. Now you're gonna need an arcade, okay? Now you're gonna need an arcade garage, and inside of that garage you're gonna need to put some elegies. Alright, you're also going to need a bunker with an MOC, and the MOC needs personal vehicle storage, and you're going to need to store the vehicle you want to duplicate inside of there. Now, I recommend doing this with a fully upgraded Benny's vehicle, or a fully upgraded Arena War vehicle. Alright, but without further ado, let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay, so step one. Okay, you guys are going to need to load up story mode. You're going to need to go to online, or settings even, sorry and change your controls to free aim okay change it to free aim and then go ahead and load up into an invite only session alright once you're here you should be in your bunker because well that's where my spawn location is but you want to go ahead and get inside the back of your MOC okay and pull out the vehicle you want to duplicate also this is a really late upload for me it's like 12 o'clock right now this is late for me alright so once you're inside okay <laughs> when my character decides to move uh, go ahead and get inside and then just pull this bad boy out. I'm using the Impala, it sells for around about 1.6, 1.7 million every time I duplicate, so I can't go wrong, you know? I, I really can't go wrong. But anyway, once you're outside of the bunker, outside of the MLC, sorry, you want to park your vehicle where I do. I, I couldn't really decide where I wanted to park it. I was like, do I park it there? Do I park it here? I don't know. I was being weird. Okay, but go ahead and exit on foot once you've placed, you know, your car inside of the bunker and then just exit the bunker. Now, you want to make your way over to your arcade and make sure that you don't call out any personal vehicles. I recommend using a secure serve uh, buzzard or just stealing your friend's oppressor or, I don't know, stealing a street vehicle. But my bunker is right next to my arcade so I can just run there. Uh, but make sure you enter through the front door and not through the garage. But yeah, you're just going to wait for this to load, okay, and uh, once you're inside, just follow where I go, okay, just go down here, turn right, and then go up the stairs to the manager's office, alright, and you want to open this, this is very important, make sure you open this, okay, I don't want you guys complaining <laughs> that it doesn't work, alright, now, I did mess up the first time, so I won't show you that, but the second time I did not end up getting this glitch, okay, so yeah, you see, you want to go behind the bar, and it should say press right to serve drinks. Okay, what you want to do is press online, you want to go to cruise, and then you want to go down to leaderboard. You want to click on the IGN crew, and then view members. Now you want to find someone that's potentially in a different targeting mode. I just see my first guy, he was out of session for some reason, so this guy seemed like he was glitching, so I decided not to. So I went with this guy, and uh, yeah, I clicked to join session. Accept the first alert and decline the second. Now you want to go ahead and press right D-pad. Okay, you guys should just stand there for about 10 years. But that's okay, no judgement. Okay, now it should say press right to leave bar. Press pause, online, go down to the criminal end to press start pack. Load that up and then back straight out of it. And then load up a Rockstar created mission and load up a Titan of a job. You'll get this alert right here. Now your game should be frozen. Now press pause again, online, and then purchase shark cards. When it loads, just back out of it and your game should be unfrozen. Now, as you can see in the top left, you can still see press right to leave the bar. Now this bit I'm going to slow down so you guys can understand it. Okay, because it is kind of tricky and requires, you know, a little bit of timing. Just a tiny bit. So you want to make your way over to your elegy, okay, that's in the garage. Now what you want to do, okay, you want to press triangle or Y to get inside the vehicle. And as he's getting in the vehicle... Okay, like as he's about to sit down, you want to press right D-pad and hold the gas. So hold R2 or RT, depending on which console you're on. Okay, don't hold it before you press the right D-pad, hold it afterwards. So I'm going to show you guys right here. Okay, I press triangle, I get in. As he's, as he's sitting down, I press right D-pad and I hold the gas. Now, if done correctly, you should spawn outside of the arcade on foot. Okay, if you have any difficulties with that, let me know and I will try and help you guys as much as I can. Now go ahead and make your way over to your bunker, and then your vehicle should still be here. Now you want to go ahead, get inside of it, 
okay and drive it up to the back of the MOC wait a couple seconds <laughs> I had LJT call me like always and then you press right d-pad and press X okay and now you've got two well a brand new duplicated car that you can sell for a lot of money but if you guys want to do this glitch again all you gotta do is pull this out okay just pull it outside of your MLC now you gotta wait for this uh, stupid loading screen but that's okay you know no judgment and then you just wanna drive it where you parked it last time and then drive out using your MLC as you won't be able to exit on foot this time okay but anyway that is it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button see you guys later have a great day and peace